Not too long ago on social media, I decided to let you guys vote on what would be my last summer build. It was between the Master Grade Hyakushiki, New Gundam for Kaw, and a Perfect Grade Strike Freedom. Obviously, it's October, so it's way past summer, but this was my last summer build. So here we go, my last summer build and my review of the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom Gundam from the series Gundam Sea Destiny. So what is a perfect grade? A perfect grade is the top notch quality and build from Bandai that they can put out at the time. When it comes to a perfect grade, Bandai goes through all the stops, come up with new techniques that have never been done before, and it's basically Bandai's way of showing off what they can do with plastic model kits. Now, because Bandai is a company, they're not perfect. A perfect grade could be hit or miss. And you kind of don't want to miss when you're spending 200 plus dollars. You can get a fantastic perfect grade like the Strike and Unicorn. Or you can get disappointments or even disasters such as the perfect grade Double O Riser or Wing Zero. Now we have the perfect grade Strike Freedom. And I'm here to figure out whether it's a hit or a miss. Strike Freedom is a design that I will admit I'm not the biggest fan of. I prefer the original Freedom way more than Strike Freedom. I felt that Strike Freedom was a lazy redesign of the Freedom to give Kira his equivalent of the High New Gundam. But you don't get to build the perfect grade every day, so there was no way I was going to turn this down. And I got it on a sale for like a buck eighty. so let's see. Let's see what the perfect grade Gundam or the perfect grade Strike Freedom has to offer to us as a consumer. So, because this is a perfect grade, you're getting a lot of runners. In fact, you're getting 54 in total. So, instead of keeping you guys here all day, I'm just going to point out the most interesting parts of this kit. So, with this kit, you're going to get three types of golds. Because the inner frame of the Shrike Freedom is a goldish color. You're going to get this pukey gold that you usually see in the high grade and master grade, which ugh, you're probably going to want to paint that if you're good at painting. Then you're going to get this nice, illustrious plated gold that, for the most part, is undergated. And then in the middle, you're going to get bronze gold that is okay and also is undergated for the most part. You're also going to get your sticker decals, and you're going to get these nice gold vinyl stickers to act as a bit of breakup within the dragoons because they're all blue. So this adds a little bit of a breakup and adds a little bit more flair into their designs that wouldn't be there if you just left them. Think of the real grade as an example. So with a perfect grade, you get not only a regular instruction manual, but you get a construction manual. The instruction manual tells you all about the details about what went behind making the perfect grade, while the construction manual actually tells you how to build it. So it's a nice little bonus detail to know how much went into making these perfect grades. So now that you can see all the runners, let's get to building this. And now we have the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom Gundam. Overall, I would say that this is a bit above the anime model. This was redesigned by Hajime Kotoki himself, so it fits more of his design aspects and philosophies than the actual animated model. 
I will say that this is probably outside of the real grade, the best looking version of the Strike Freedom Gundam that is out there. The bill was somewhat straightforward for me at least because it has a similar aspects from the Perfect Grade Strike and Astray. So if you built any of those, you kind of know what you're doing. The vinyl stickers that I've mentioned do help it pop, but otherwise, this is a good looking Gundam. So let's look at some articulation. Okay, so let's start at the head. So the head has two ball joints in its neck and can go up and down easily and side to side. Also, 360 with no problem whatsoever. With the help of three points in its arm, the arm can get a perfect 180 with absolutely no problem whatsoever. The waist can go a little up and down, side to side, and no 360, but that's important because it helps with the Dragoons. Front skirts can lift up with no problem, so long as you move the legs. The side skirts can actually go down, so you can move the rail guns to the back skirts as well, and opens up a spot for the beam cannons on the side. With the legs, you get a beautiful bend with a popping knee and shifting armor in the legs. The feet can go down, somewhat side to side, but no up. You don't want it to go up. With the cockpit, it's a little bit more complex as the cockpit seat actually moves up as you slide in and out. And because this is a perfect grade, you get LEDs for the eyes. Now here is what they dubbed the Super Dragoon System, and this thing aesthetically is pleasing and impressive. However, the Dragoons are very complicated and a lot of times won't stay in as you want them to and will pop out out of nowhere. Also, you have to be mindful when you're building this because this thing has a design flaw where the pegs that for the Dragoon wings can break off. They state in the manual that you need to hold on to the points as strongly as you possibly can, so please pay attention to that warning. Outside of what you're seeing here, the Perfect Grade Strike Feedem does come with accessories and weapons. First, you can pop the Beam Saber hilts from the side skirts pretty easily, and then you get Beam Saber effect parts. You get two of each, and they look pretty good and sizable for its size. You can also go Darth Maul style, no problem, because the back of each hilt has connector pieces so that you can do it with two edge swords. You can easily put on the beam saber by pulling out the red piece on the forearms and slapping it on the back. And you can even combine both of the beam rifles to make one giant rifle. I'll admit I did have to cheat at this pose though, I couldn't get the hands to hold it completely, so results may vary. So, what do I think about the Perfect Grade Strike Freedom Gundam? To be honest, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Whenever you build a Perfect Grade, it's just a phenomenal experience that you get because this is the top of the line that Bandai can do at the time of its release. And every brand new perfect grade is supposed to bring something new to the table that we haven't seen before. Perfect Grade Strike Freedom is a good model kit. However, I just feel in comparison to the other perfect grades that I've built that it's lacking in detail. Matter of fact, I think even the Master Grade Freedom 2.0 has more detail than this Strike Freedom Gundam. The fact that I have to use vinyl stickers in order to break up the Dragoons is a little bit questionable for me because I kind of expect it because it's a perfect grade, I shouldn't have to use stickers to break up color. There's also some chrome piston detail that's inside of the kit that you really just don't get to see because once you put in the armor, it's all disappeared and hidden. Which I found disappointing because even in my perfect grade wing zero or strike, if I move a limb, there's some type of piss in action, and with the Strike Freedom, it's just not there. So, is Perfect Grade Strike Freedom worth getting? Me, personally, no. 
because I am not a fan of this design, but it's not a bad Gundam. If you're a big fan of Gundam Seed and Strike Freedom, you will love this. This is a perfect grade. This will stand out and this will be a very beautiful set piece to show off to your friends and loved ones. From a modeler's perspective, it's not the best in the world. And I think Unicorn and probably Perfect Grade X here will wipe the floor in terms of engineering and detail. I don't regret getting Perfect Grade Shark Freedom. It's always amazing to get Perfect Grade, but I feel that it was pretty lackluster in the experience. But that's just me. Anyways, this is 101R Smith, and I will see you later. Peace!